Well guys, this video is gonna be a catch and cook video. Stay tuned for some catfish catch and cook right on the beach. Okay guys, there's a fish, there's a fish stranded right here in the shallows. Nova's gonna try to find it right here. She's getting into fishing pretty good. Get it Nova, where'd it go? Get it Nova. <laughs> Come on. Get it, get it. There you go. Oh, oh, it's getting away. Get it, Nova. <laughs> Good job, Nova. Good girls. You're a fishing dog now, aren't you? You're gonna get all the shallow carp, aren't you? <laughs> uh. Good job, Nova. Glad somebody can catch a fish, I sure hell can't. We have been trying all day to catch a fish, and there's one in the shallows, and I kind of put Nova on it. She's like, she loves catching fish in the shallows. That was pretty cool, watching her find it. Found a good spot right here, boys. So, just using my homemade bait. It's from last year. It's really, really stinky. Holy cow. But it should do the trick here. So all we're doing is hooking on a little piece. I'm not using a big chunk, but just enough for... I'm, I want to catch anything, really. So anything wants to take that, I'm going to take it. I'm also putting... I'm also putting just a little floater right here just to draw some attention. It's really not nothing. I just, when a fish comes up, they kind of, I don't know, I feel like they kind of see that a little bit and kind of maybe go up and investigate, see this bait dang one here, I don't know. It's just something that I, I do if it works. I don't know if it really does any good, but it can't hurt nothing. That's what I've been doing. Let's see what happens here. Just toss that out there like that. It's kind of the deepest part of the channel. It's really shallow right now. But we'll see what happens here. You really get that line nice and tight like that. Okay, boys, let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can't catch us a catfish and catch and cook it. All right, guys, we've got a fish on. Nova just caught her fish, now it's my turn. Hopefully it's a catfish, hopefully it's a catfish. Come on. Hopefully it's a catfish, we'll see. It's tugging like one. Yeah, I think it's a catfish. Oh yeah, catfish. Here we go, boys, finally caught some luck here. Whoa, I don't fall. All right. Nice. Ooh, that's a good catfish. Nice catfish. That's a good cat right there. Ow. Awesome. That's a nice catfish, guys. Check that catfish out. I think we're going to have to eat him. I haven't had catfish in a long time. But yeah. Heck yeah, boys. Now it's on. Heck yeah, guys. That's a good cat right there. <laughs> Nova caught a fish. I caught a fish. Now she wants this one too, don't you? This one's mine. You can't have this one. 
Awesome. First catfish of this year, guys. That's awesome. God, it's exciting. Good healthy one, too. He's kind of fat for this time of year. But yeah, sweet. All right, here's that catfish again. Caught this on my homemade bait. So that's what we're using. And it's been my catfish bait absolutely rocks these channel cats. I have caught so many big catfish off of that bait, it's unreal. If you guys wanna know what that bait is, it's right, I'll put a link right here. It's some good bait, guys. You'll catch a lot of channel cats with it. Anyway, we're gonna cook this bad boy up and eat him. Okay, all right guys, so we're gonna cook that catfish. All I got is some chopped up onions and some bell peppers and some garlic. So all we're gonna do is just add a little olive oil to our pan. We're gonna go put it on the hot fire. So now we're just gonna add our peppers. And we're just gonna put a little bit of a little bit of sugar just to caramelize them peppers and take out the punch of the onion. Nothing better than coming out here and cooking some fish on the bank. Glad summer is coming. Alright, now I'm just going to put a little bit of Cajun in the mixture. Just give it some, some zing to it. Now, we're just going to put some red wine vinegar. Melt that. Kind of burn off that alcohol and let the vinegar kind of Brings all that flavor all together. Yeah, perfect. Looking good, looking good. Now all we're gonna do is just add a little bit of basil. Give it that minty, give it that minty flavor. And just let that soak in there. Let that sit a little more To our filet. <clears throat> this is roasted garlic herbs. Pepper. Flip it over. Just gonna do some salt. And then I'm gonna add a little heat because we're making fish tacos. So I'm gonna put some crushed up peppers. And last but not least. Last but not least, Cajun. And since we're making fish tacos, I'm gonna slice these fillets into thin strips. Butter on there. Oh yeah. 
Can't wait. It's gonna be so good. Can't wait, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, I'm excited. Now, we're just gonna throw this back in, cook it all together, so they all kind of join the flavor. I'm gonna have some fish tacos. Gonna add it to our taco shells. If I can do it. Oh man, am I gonna do this? <laughs> Alright, just like that. Lettuce in there, just like that. A little bit of cheddar. Just like that. Catfish tacos right here on the beach. Now we gotta try it without making a mess on my face. Mmm. That's great guys. Holy cow. Come out and catch some catfish and cook it on the beach, man. You won't you won't regret it. It's awesome. It always tastes better when you're out in the hills, out in the mountains. It always tastes ten times better. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment below on how you cook your catfish. I'd like to hear how you cook it. So anyway, stay tuned for next week's video. See you guys.